A 10 year old boy is in critical condition at North Memorial Hospital tonight after he was hit by a train and lost his leg. It happened near 44th and Bryant Avenues this afternoon as the train was heading through North Minneapolis. Police say the boy and two friends were trying to hop on and off of the slow moving freight train. And that's when the boy slipped and the train dragged and ran him over. Neighbors who saw the accident told our Nina Moyni they're hopeful it will shed light on the need for safety measures surrounding the tracks that run through an area full of children. I see it all summer and every day from out here they be running over there trying to beat that train. On one side of the Canadian Pacific Railway, a fence with locked gates puts a barrier between Weber Park and the tracks. <laughs> But nothing physically stands between the trains and the intersection of 44th and Bryant Avenues North, where Nicole Coleman lives. So wide open. Yeah, they need to do something about that. It's where she rushed to help three young boys. They was playing and he jumped and he missed the track. Minneapolis police got a call around 1.30 Saturday afternoon from a concerned citizen reporting three boys were jumping on and off a moving freight train. Trains end up usually going slow through this area. By the time police arrived minutes later, the damage was already done. A 10 year old boy hit. It was a bad tragedy. Yes, it was. Yes, he had a cut off his face, his leg, you know, his leg came off. Officers from the Minneapolis Police Department and the park police utilized tourniquets to ensure that the bleeding did not continue and likely saved that child's life. A life forever changed from a preventable tragedy. Everyone needs to stay away from trains. The issue is that when something does go wrong, those trains aren't able to stop. The personnel on the train likely don't even see the children. Police have not identified any of the children involved in today's accident. We asked the city of Minneapolis the reason behind those specific safety measures along the train tracks. We haven't heard back just yet.